Jessica, what is this? Welcome to Crocs in the Kitchen. I am Brian and Jessica is nowhere to be seen. All I know is that I have a box in front of me with a note attached to it. Dear Brian, welcome to your mystery box. All of these items are pantry staples. The challenge is to cook us a dinner using only these ingredients. Okay, you can also use some basic spices, but nothing fancy. Peef and I will return later to judge. Love, Jessica. P.S. You have to incorporate everything in the box. Uh, so it looks like I'm doing a mystery box cooking challenge. And uh, let's find out what we got in the box. All right, in the box we have some sweet corn, some green beans, some black beans, tomato paste, nutritional yeast, oh, old fashioned oats, yellow mustard, lime juice, some diced no salt added tomatoes, some no salt added tomato sauce, some garlic in a bottle, and some better than bouillon. Interesting. All right, let's get to cooking. All right, for this video, I'm just going to run through what I actually did, but you can find a link to the recipes for everything involved in the description below, and you can recreate this yourself if you want to. But Jessica threw me a couple of little curveballs here. Mainly, I didn't know what to do with the oats, but I knew that I wasn't gonna make a soup, so I swapped out the Dutch oven for my trusty granite stone diamond pan. This thing is amazing and completely nonstick but I started with the tomato sauce while the other pan was heating up. I just added in the can of diced tomatoes and the tomato sauce and put in maybe, I don't know, a tablespoon or so of tomato paste and uh, then squeezed in a little bit of that bottle of squeezed garlic. Most of the time I like to use fresh garlic or garlic powder like I also added here just because I prefer the taste of garlic powder over the bottle of garlic pasty stuff. But to make this a spicy tomato sauce, I added in a good little pinch of cayenne pepper and figured that I would also throw in some onion powder to sort of round out that flavor a bit. I decided not to use salt in this dish and instead opted for using some of the straight better than bouillon out of the jar. Uh, it has plenty of sodium in it to make that dish work. Jessica actually threw that in there because she figured that I would make broth since most people have broth on hand or some other type of bouillon. Uh, I chose not to do that and I kind of bent the rules a little bit on that one. But on to the actual main part of this meal and that involves making some oat flour from the oats that Jessica gave me. And uh, that was just a cup of oats in our Vitamix, blitzed until it becomes a fine powder. After that, I opened up the cans of sweet corn and black beans. I let those drain off, and then I rinsed the black beans and let them drain as well. I didn't want to add extra moisture to what I was doing here. Which, if you might have guessed if I'm using oat flour, I'm actually making a black bean and corn patty. And I got out our food processor and uh, threw those together along with two tablespoons of oat flour. Yes, I did actually measure this out, although that was not the final amount that I ended up using because I'm doing this recipe from scratch and I had no clue what I was actually doing and I had to tinker with it a little bit. I also used the better than bouillon in this to add a salty component, uh, but you can use salt if you want to, or you can use something else like liquid aminos or tamari or soy sauce, something along those lines to add in that umami flavor. And for the seasoning for this, I added in a bit of onion powder and a dash of cayenne as well. I then blitzed this all together and gave it a taste and realized that it was missing a little something. 
So I added in some black pepper and I also added in some more oat flour. Oh yeah, forgot about this one. I also added in cumin. After that, I just got it out of the food processor and uh, set it aside until I was ready to actually use it. So I was going to make sort of a cheesy mustard sauce using just nutritional yeast and the yellow mustard, but then I saw that I had the corn lying around from the rest of that can and figured, yeah, why not blitz that up too with it and make sort of a cheesy mustard corn sauce. Yeah, I know, I was just really experimenting with this, but I like the combination of mustard and nutritional yeast for some reason, and uh, the corn actually added a really, really nice sweetness to this dish. But just blitz it up, make sure that it is nice and creamy, and you are good to go. But now on to Jessica's precious canned green beans. I just took those, put them into a small sauce pot with some lime juice and some garlic and a little pinch of salt as well, and they were ready to go. But it is now on to the main part of this dish. I took the black bean and corn mixture and formed it into two separate little blobs and placed them into my nonstick skillet. And uh, I cooked them for a couple of minutes on one side and then flipped them, flattened them out a bit so they looked more patty-like and uh, just proceeded to cook them on each side until each side was good and golden brown. But I would say that this process probably takes about five minutes on each side flipping every once in a while. And as those were cooking, it was about time to get everything ready to go when all of a sudden I realized that I had been being watched the whole time. Sometimes Peefs just has to keep an eye on things. So once the patties were done cooking, I put them onto a plate, covered them in the tomato sauce, added on my cheesy corn mustard sauce as well, and added the green beans onto the side. Bing, bang, boom. Mystery box challenge is completed, and I think it is about time we got Jessica back in here to taste this. Also, remember folks, you can find the recipes for everything that I did here in the blog post linked in the description below. So there you have it. Wait, where'd you go? Don't worry about it. Okay, fine. <laughs> so, what I have here is, mm -hmm. and you can you can totally say I wrote it all. I wrote it oh. down. So uh, I have a black bean and corn patty mm -hmm. made with some oat flour, mm -hmm. a tomato sauce that is literally the canned tomatoes, tomato sauce, and tomato paste, uh, with a little bit of the better than bouillon in there, some cheesy mustard corn sauce, and a side of garlic and lime. Uh, green beans. Oh, I couldn't wait. Oh, I didn't want you to wait. Oh my goodness. So try it with the tomato sauce That's first. That's really good. Then go ahead and try it with the corn too. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, that's very... Hmm. Yeah. If you can, though, I mean, try the patty just by itself, too. Well, the green beans definitely aren't as good as my canned green beans from the gas station challenge. Just kidding. Mm-hmm. Just kidding. I have no idea how these would actually turn out, anyway. Hmm. Is that the lime juice? Yeah. That's giving it, like, the punt, nice little punch? Yeah, and the little bits on there are garlic. Okay, trying the patty. Yeah, try the patty just by itself. That's good. It has a really nice flavor to it. Mm -hmm. What did you put in the patty? Um, I put in a little bit of onion powder and a little bit of cumin. Yeah. And pepper. Yeah. Not and bad. Then eh? The oats. Mm-hmm. See, I knew the oats would come in handy. 
So the oats threw me for a loop. I didn't exactly know what to do with them. So I just kind of like went with it and was like, well, I know I can use it as a binder, so I might as well. All right, this is seriously good. You think? Good job. <laughs> I mean, it tastes pretty so, good to me. So the whole point of this challenge was everyone's stuck in their homes now and you might have just weird ingredients in your pantry that you don't, you know, that you've had on hand for a while or that you've stocked up on or anything like that. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show like you could make any meal out of any, you know, any ingredients you get creative enough and put them together in a, in a certain way and you can make it taste really good. I'm still I, not a big fan of the green beans, but that's just me. You don't like canned green beans. True. You're not on team green bean. <laughs> um, I did. I felt like I give you a good variety well, of ingredients. Out pretty good. I could tell. Oh, wait. No, I couldn't tell because I wasn't here. Just kidding. Uh, were you spying on me? <laughs> I could tell that you were a little overwhelmed with the number of ingredients and having to incorporate all of them. And also, I feel like you were kind of wondering what the main was going to be in the dish. Yeah. Because I didn't really know how to sort of piece it all together. And I was just running through the list of all these things that I know how to cook, all these things that I know how to pair together, and even things that I'd maybe just randomly seen on YouTube. And that's kind of when I stumbled onto mm -hmm. to this with the oat flour, because I remember... Uh, the Giroudi family using oat flour to bind stuff together for certain things. And I was just like, okay, well, I think I can do that with the black beans. And I was like, well, I also have the corn. So, I'm, I mean, I know black beans and corn go together very well. So I was like, why not? Let's go ahead and do that. So I mixed those together, mixed in with the spice and, and the, uh, the oat flour, blitzed it all together. It made a very, very sticky dough. Mm -hmm. But thanks to my lovely nonstick skillet over there yeah. with zero oil added, uh, the are you talking about the diamond mm -hmm. one? Yes. Uh, cooked it up really nicely. Didn't stick whatsoever. And even weirdly enough, it looks like meat. It does. I'm actually... I'm just really surprised how good that patty is. So, yeah, it turned yeah. out quite nice. That pepper I, actually is what really kind of made it. it. This is a really good... It's like an open-faced cheeseburger. <laughs> yeah. Is that like the... It's really good with like... A combo of things yeah like that when you get everything together in yeah. one bite I think this is excellent mm. so if you have some pantry ingredients laying around do your own little challenge and let us know what you come up with but we will also put the recipe for this on our website so if you click the blog post below you'll you'll find a printable version of the recipe so you can make it yourself um, yeah I think this this was a win I think you did a really good job thank you I mean, obviously, Pete helped you. Yeah, well, he did. <laughs> but uh, if you guys would like to do so, please find us on all of our social media sites, Facebook and Instagram especially. You can interact with us there and send us messages, and we love that. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and uh, click the bell that is right next to it so you get notified whenever we post a new video like this one. Also, if you like and share it, that's a good thing. So please <laughs> like and share the video if you are also inclined to do so. And uh, I think that's all I got. That's all I got. I just want to finish this. <laughs> we will see you next time on Crocs in the Kitchen. Bye. Bye. No, seriously, where did you go? <laughs>